25% of global emissions are related to transportation, and 95% of the world's transport energy still comes from fossil fuels. So I have attended the Connecting Europe conference in Brussels this week to learn more about smart mobility, about renewable technologies, about fuel, and how we create infrastructures that are designed to handle our changing climate. People need to make more sustainable choices when it comes to how we transport ourselves, but it neither begins nor ends with us. The political and industrial sectors have a responsibility to create the best and most sustainable framework for us to live within. While we can't get everyone to stop flying, and we don't necessarily have to, we have to make trains more easily available, more convenient and cheaper so they become a more viable option for more people. We also need to look at city planning and value spaces for cyclists and public transportation in favor of automobiles. We also have to innovate and develop new fuels and technologies, but that can't be the only thing we're doing. We already have the data, the technology and the solution to lower the impact of transportation, but now we have to act on it.